I have to admit, I'm a hard working person. Hey guys, welcome back. It's September 15th. We're out here just checking this water. This is the field that they just lasered. It does really look like they lasered it. It's watering really good. It's ponded over there because we've watered over there already. We're working our way to the east. This is why we level. We haven't had to shovel. We haven't had to adjust pipes or nothing. They only put the dikes down about 30 feet from the top end. And you just start the water and let it go. It runs really good. The other field we're watering, it's not leveled. It ain't watering worth a crap. And then we got Jeremy over here working ground, getting this field ready to plant that we watered last week. Uncle Rick's over drilling grain on Elmer's over here. And Aiden went and got his toy. I think we're gonna have to get an HOA going around here when they move in. Make them put a better muffler on that thing, but. What are you doing? You're just like your dad, playing in the mud. Can't blame him though, it's hot today. That water feels good. Let me get over here and see if we can get some footage of Jeremy on this Triple K. Here comes Aiden back, in case you couldn't hear him. to be young again but now I know this field already looks like it's been planted but it hasn't been that's just the volunteer that came back in it after we watered it if it had been a little bit thicker we could have left it but Now he'll probably end up working this twice. He'll go on this angle the first time, then he'll switch his angle up and go opposite angle the second time. Just so we get it firmed up real good and we get this volunteer wheat killed out. Then we'll have a good seed bed. Then Uncle Rick can probably plant this tomorrow. But Are you done being noisy? No. It feels good. Yeah. It's freaking hot. It's still way soft out there. Oh yeah. I don't, but, my dog I don't know. You fired that thing up and he took off. Yeah. But he's over playing in the mud. All right. Remember, about 15 minutes. And we gotta go check the other water. <laughs> Kid. 
I'll be surprised if he don't wreck that before too much longer. That's a big freaking machine. You can cover a lot of ground in a hurry with that thing. We just scratching the surface, just kind of digging in a couple inches. Get it worked up and turned over and sealed back off so that we can keep the moisture in it. That's a fun one to run. He's just sitting there. GPS, he doesn't even have to steer, he just has to turn on the end. We'll let him keep to it. And I'll go check on the other water. I think this one here that we just looked at, it's got about another half hour before we'll change it. The other one, I have a feeling we're gonna have to go do a lot of shoveling on, so. We'll go see if maybe we can get some, get Uncle Rick on camera. Flatten some grain. Naden's a retard. No, I'm filming. It's filming. You wanna tell them what they're doing? Alright, I will. Uncle Rick's over here planting grain. Maybe he's messing around on his motorcycle again. I was talking to Uncle Rick on the phone. And he said Aiden drove into the drain ditch down the bottom of this field. Wish I'd have had that on camera. That would have been funny. No. That's all there is to it. I would be very careful with that board. Yeah. You gotta get that hay hauled too, Ethan. I wonder if that's going down in the shed. Alright, well he'll just keep going back and forth like that. I think we're gonna go check the other water. But I'm glad to finally see them get this drill going and get that big triple K going. Get this stuff worked in and get it in the ground. Noisy kids. My luck's gonna run out one day. <laughs> well, I heard you drove into the drain ditch. Yeah. Yeah. You should go do it again so they can catch it on film. I was gonna say. It's not as funny when it's planned. Yeah. But. Alright guys, we're gonna go check the other water. I didn't think the drain ditch was that deep. So I thought I'd just it, go in and hop back out of it. Yeah, it, in it. it's a deep ditch. Yeah. It's a lot deeper than what you think, but. Unless you're going fast enough and you just glide straight over it. Alright. Well. You can't glide straight over that. There's a 10 foot tall barrier on the other side of it. Is that what he did? You just tried to glide over it and... <laughs> Oop. I was going to go in it to turn around. But then I sloughed off so I had to back it back out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go check the other water. Alright guys, this is a difference between a leveled field and an unleveled field. We're here on Dell's big field. It is not level at all. And you can see... Now the water does not run even. We're done on this side. And the north side's slow. It's coming, but it's slow. I wonder if we need to go move some siphon tubes to the north. They all are to the north. For the most part. Up there at Cop, it just goes straight that way. Yeah. And I tried shoveling a monsoon, but... Isn't monsoon a thunderstorm? Whatever they call it. What does he call it? 
I can't remember what your grandpa calls it. Something. And it just would just bill up and run over it. Run over it. Tall yeah. you did it. I mean, it is working its way down here, but. So on this field, they plowed it. Some, and then they tromped it. Some kid didn't tromp it very yeah. straight. Which means he just took the tractor and drove back and forth on it. To kind of pack it down. That helps this sand keep the moisture in. So when we water it, this moisture will stay in the ground better. It won't go out as quick so we can get the grain planted and get it up. But And it soaks. It's soaking dang good. You sink right to the bottom of the plow depth, but... I think... I don't know which one's going to be done first, this one or the other one. Do we shovel it or just let it go? Because, I mean, it's not... There's not much water on the bottom like there usually is. I mean, if it... It would be fine if it built up to there. Yeah. And then by then, most of it might be down. Not that one! Well, plus, you cheat! When I came up here to look at it earlier, all the water from the last run was already soaked away along here. Stay with the sand, it'll soak it. Yeah. I think we just let it run. If it's gonna run like this, we'll let it run. We'll go check the other one and maybe change it. And then come back to this one. Cause I mean, they're, yeah, they're starting to get down. They're getting down here. And there's really not that much water here. At the yeah. Bottom. All that's soaked away already, and that was ten times bigger than this was. Yeah, when, when Dell leveled this 30 years ago, we should have done it in two fields, but... Or just one. Or just one. It goes cold. Cold. It's probably 70s <laughs> bike. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, I think we're going to go back to the other field and watch it for a minute and just let this one run. Because it ain't... It ain't ponding up at all. There's not that much water down here, so. Too bad. It's so high right here, so we couldn't go all the way through. Yeah. With the dike. Well, they said he was going to take the loader and build them up to help hold it back, but. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let it run. Okay. This is the last field to water this year, so. For Hopefully. stubble. We might water some more corn ground that's going to go into winter wheat, but... It depends if my dad wants fourth crop hay or not in some fields. I hope not. That'll be a pain to get off. Especially Plus if it's going to... Plus the swath halfway broke down. Yeah. Well, yeah, some kid keeps running into the ditch bank. Technically, it didn't break on me, so... <laughs> it's all that matters. Yeah, but you started the breakage, <laughs> yeah. so... All right, guys. We're going to go check the other field morning guys Saturday morning we're just turning the water back in we're up here to the canal we shut the east ditch out last night that's the one we were watering Dells on Uncle Rick shut it out eight or nine o'clock last night instead of fighting that field the rest of the night so we're just up here turning it back in get the main ditch filling back up again so nice where it's piped it doesn't take as long to fill up but it's filling up in a hurry so we'll go get the east ditch opened up all right we just got the east ditch opened up start sending it towards Dales that's so nice having that big main ditch piped. It only took less than three minutes for that ditch to be full again. From the time we turned it in at the canal to the time it got down to the to the bottom. Or down to the where it splits. But the reason why we shut the east ditch out and don't let it go down the waste ditch like we do the other two is well for one, it doesn't go back to the canal like the other two does, but the east ditch the way it goes, if nobody's using it, 
it goes through the Selman's place and then goes over the river hill back into the Bear River but here uh, several years ago a few years ago a tree fell over and punched a bunch of holes in the pipe that goes down off the off the river hill so it sprays water everywhere and is kind of starting to wash the hill out and then down the bottom it's washing really bad so we need to one of these years spend a little bit of the ditch company's money and get that fixed but for now it's just easy enough to go up to the main up to the main head gate at the canal and turn it down so many threads and then just shut the east ditch off and it gives the, the other two ditches a little bit of water because it puts a little bit more pressure on them on the head gate so it pushes a little bit more through down to them but we're just gonna go switch the other head gates back to Dell's Uncle Rick shut it off about 8 30 last night at the canal and then at 10 o'clock he went and switched the head gates because the run was done the ditch had drained out enough so that's where we're headed now we'll go switch those head gates and then go up to the top of Dell's and wait for an hour and a half for the water to get there We got Uncle Rick out here making the rest of the dikes in this field. Field 4455. He's going over them several times because we got a pretty good hole here up here by the top of the just out from the ditch I don't know if it's from the plow or if it's just probably just this field this field's just a piece of garbage but I guess he's just making that one as a short one. But he only made dikes halfway across the field yesterday because we weren't sure how it was going to water. <clears throat> and I can tell you right now, it ain't watering worth a crap. But So we're going to shorten them up. I think we're only going to do them part way out, like what he's doing here. And then see how the rest of this runs. But... It is a really nice morning. The sun's just getting ready to come up. Other than it's cold, it's got cold. It's only about 50 right now with the daily Tremont morning breeze. I don't think you can have a morning around here where the wind's not blowing. We'll wait for the ditch to fill up while he finish makes making these dikes. Looks like our dam leaked. This ditch is already half full down through here. So that's going to be fun setting the other dam in a ditch full of water. But I'm going to hop back in the truck. It's a little chilly staying out here in the breeze. 